So we're going to talk today about anything that is important to you, but we want to help you to establish in your own awareness, this sense of this grid. We want you to acknowledge that there is a vibrational basis for that, which you are. And it's not only the basis of who you were before you were born. Oh, that's a good basis. But that basis has expanded tremendously since you've been here in this physical body, because you have been living life and knowing that you don't want to be rude, that you want to be an uplifter, knowing that you don't want to be confused, that you want to have clarity, knowing that you don't want instability, that you want stability, knowing that you don't want poverty, that you want prosperity, knowing that you don't want to be bored. You want to be interested, knowing, 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 knowing you've carved out this beingness that stands always offering the signal to let you know where you stand in relationship to that. And that's the grid really that we want you to know that you've carved out. It's this being this central being. It's the being who loves no matter what, who understands no matter what, who accepts diversity, no matter what, who appreciates no matter what it's the core of who you are. It's the being who feels self appreciation, no matter what, who feels appreciation for others, no matter what. Now we know that's a yeah, interesting <laughs> concept that someone could be so oblivious to what's really going on <laughs> that they would just stand in a place of pure positive energy, but it's not an oblivious stance. It's a carefully honed, carefully crafted over many, many, many life experiences. It's a stance of becoming it's who you really are. You see, so the grid, the grid, the grid is the basis of who you are. And when you find a way to line up with that, then all of the things that you've been putting into this vortex that are right now, vibrational versions of what you want, as far as you are concerned, far less satisfying than the manifested versions, a vibrational version, blah, 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 virtual money, whoop de doo <laughs> a virtual lover. Well, good for them. <laughs> I want the manifestation of that Abraham. And we say the manifestation must follow the manifestation must be allowed by you, but you got to figure out what's the vibrational consistency of that. And you have to find the vibrational grid that allows it to flow. So here's the picture we would like you to see. So you were source energy before you came into this physical body. You've heard this so many times you could speak it as well as we do source energy before you came into this body. A part of you came into this physical body. And as you came into this physical body, you are exploring like leading edge pioneers while the source of you remains in this steady, solid, always pure, positive energy vibration, always loving. You might not always worthy. You might not feel like you are. In other words, this secure being you might not be, but it still remains there. So you know what you don't want. You know what you do want. You know what you don't want. You know what you do want. And every time that happens, which is all day, every day and has been from the moment that you sit foot into this foot, <laughs> you send these rockets of desire and your becoming happens. And we've been calling this your vortex. Now you've been listening to us for a while. We've been saying you want to get in your vortex. You want to get in your vortex. That was our way of saying you want to get up to speed with what is in your vortex. You want to achieve a vibrational stance that allows the vortex law of attraction to bring you in where all that you are and all that you want is today. We are giving you a slightly different way of looking at this because we want you to understand that as you stand here in your powerful moment of attention, that you are generating a vibration. And when it is in sync, Esther has been trying to find a visual as she hears us explaining and feels us explaining this to you. And the visual that she has is that beaming up from the very core of that, which she is, you are, is this bright beam of vibration. And when she stands in it, she can feel the clarity of it. She knows that that's what she's doing when she's allowing Abraham to flow through standing over there in it. It be so dominant that she be compliant with it. So here is this 
energy, this vibration, this core beingness beaming up. And here you are somewhere in the vicinity of it. Maybe over here, ornery about something, maybe over here, frightened about something, maybe standing right in it in appreciation or love of something. But you get to choose, you get to allow or disallow your relationship with this grid. So that's pretty easy to understand, isn't it? It's pretty easy to understand your relationship with the vortex or your relationship with the grid conceptually, not hard to get your thoughts around that, is it? But now how does the rest of the world fit in with your grid? Well, let's say that you are in vibrational alignment with who you are and you are beaming a powerful signal. That means that anyone who's moving around in your vicinity, who's of the same vibrational frequency or nature, can't you just see those grids clicking together? So that there's this synergy, there's this energy, there's this co-creative enthusiasm that happens with grids like yours lining up because law of attraction just locks them into place. Of course, you could have gotten up on the wrong side of the bed. You could be an ornery toad for the fifth day in a row. You might not be anywhere near your own core, your own vortex, your own natural source grid. You got something else going on out here. Well, guess what's happening? Those grids are lining up too, coming into place. All those ornery people coming to you or all those fearful people coming to you. In other words, all around you, you have the potential of aligning with your true power. Now you've heard us say, we know you have because we've been saying it and you've been listening that one who's in alignment, tuned in, tapped in, turned on is more powerful than millions who are not. So if you take the time to notice your grid, if you take the time to align with it, the power of that, which you are about will be evidenced by the manifestations that surround you, but more important will be evidenced by the way you feel, by the clarity you feel, by the vitality you feel, by the enthusiasm you feel, by the well being that you feel, by the joy for life that you feel. So there's nothing inappropriate with hooking up with some of those other grids. It's part of that contrast that we were talking about. Just don't make a lifestyle of it. <laughs> Just don't spend your time out there in the vibrational wasteland. Conferring with others about the best way to cope while you're out there. And that's what so much life experience and chatter is about. Well, this is how we're dealing with life. Let's join together in chat groups and deal together. And we say, uh, there's only one chat group we join. And it's the one that is connected to the core of that, which you are. It's the one that always exudes from you enthusiasm and clarity and love. So. We are eager to talk with you about whatever is important to you. It is our promise to you that by the time we are finished today, you'll understand the grid fully. And it is our expectation that you'll be right in alignment with who you really are. We also want to say to you that that does not mean that you will forevermore be in lockstep with your grid because you have come here to experience variety for the purpose of adding to the whole of that, which we all are. This is a creative dance. There's just such a difference when you know about the grid, when you know that you are the creator of your own experience, when you know that you have the ability to generate a vibration and that law of attraction will acknowledge the vibration that you've offered. When you are able to acknowledge the difference between holding yourself in sync with who you really are or holding yourself out of sync with who you really are. When you get the personal awareness of how these consistent magnificently consistent laws of the universe work and you go with the flow of those laws people who are watching you will be amazed at what you accomplish they will be amazed at the clarity of your mind but more important they will be amazed with the cooperation of everyone and everything around they will watch discordant others bounce right off of you they will watch harmonious others join you in vibrational beingness they will see evidence of your alignment and they will say, how is it that you are so sure footed? How is it that you barely speak a preference and it is handed to you with such ease and grace and balance. And you say, 
I chilled out. I stopped worrying about what everybody else was doing because I realized it didn't have anything to do with me. I just picked from it like a buffet, picking the pieces I liked and focusing on them and ignoring the others. And then it just got easier and easier because from the moment I became deliberate, consciously aware of how I wanted to feel. And oh, when I heard about the vortex and I realized that everything I want is in there, I want it in there too. And then when I learned that I'm sending a vibrational frequency that might be in sync with who I really am and might not, and that I can feel the difference and that I can use the power of my mind to line myself up, then I was off and running. And there is no ending to the expansion of my beingness. There's a lot for me to be happy about, you say to others. Never ending expansion and continual joy. What's not to like? Yeah. What do you want to talk about? Hmm. You've come with things. It's going to be a magnificent day. Truly magnificent day. Oh, so much good stuff. Ah. Yes, indeed. Begin right there, second row.